Devi Sati. Daksha organized a yagna and invited many prominent princes and deities, but intentionally slighted Shiva and Sati by not inviting them. Sati insisted on attending nonetheless, and Shiva warned her that she would only find insult and humiliation at the ceremony. When Sati arrives, Shiva's warnings proved true. Daksha hurled insult after insult at Sati and refused to listen to her explaining that her love for Shiva was true and told her, there are so many charming and handsome princes here. Why don't you marry one of them? You will be better off. In the face of her father's insults, Adi Parashakti shed her human form and threw herself into the ritual fire with the promise of being born to a father who respected her husband. Lord Shiva became furious upon hearing about the happenings of Daksha's Yagna. In a fit of rage, he pulled a strand of his matted locks and threw it at the ground. From it emerged Virabhadra. His rage threatened the entire universe. He cut off Daksha's head and then proceeded to destroy the Yaga, earning him the name Kratudhamsi. He then gathered the remains of his wife and renounced the world. This story of Shiva and Sati is a reminder that love is the most powerful weapon of all and that sometimes love doesn't work out in the way that we want it to. In the first Sanchari, we will be able to witness Sir playing the roles of Shiva, Sati, Daksha and Veerabhadra via the concept of Ekapatra Abhinaya. This refers to the act of one dancer portraying all the roles. This is challenging as a performer because the dancer has to switch between roles, between characters, emotions as well as body languages in mere, se in mere seconds to present a convincing story to the Rasikas. The second Sanchari is of Gajasura, the elephant-headed demon and an ardent devotee of Shiva. After performing penance for many years, Brahma arrives and Gajasura asks never to be killed. When Brahma says he can't grant that boon, Gajasura cunningly asks that he be killed only by Shiva and in Kashi, which is the purest place of all. Gajasura wreaks havoc on achieving this boon and devotees plead to Shiva for help. Shiva tricks Gajasura into arriving at Kashi and defeats him. A defeated Gajasura pleads with Shiva not to kill him and to bless him with moksha. Shiva agrees and rips Gajasura's skin off, hence making Gajasura a part of Shiva forever. While the first half explained the elements of Purusha in Lord Shiva, the second half is a symphony of praises for Prakriti or Devi, referring to her as Bhairavi, Nata Bhairavi and Ananda Bhairavi. The lyrics refer to her as Chandike, the ones who killed the demons Chanda and Munda, Mahisha Mardhini, the slayer of demon Mahishasura. She also earned the title of Mukambike when she slayed the demon Mukasura with a chakra and refers to her as Ratnapriya, the lover of gems. She is the lover of Natya, Laya, Shruti and of course Shiva. The raga of this item itself bears her name, Sumanesha Ranjini. Please put your hands together for Sir, joined by Anusha, Trisha, Savita, Tevis Ankita, Arnab, Roshan and Sidharna as they present the value.